Hello, everyone out there. I'm just tell it like it is. I hope everybody is doing well. Because I am. Today, I'm going to talk about what is lust? What is lust? My definition of lust is something that a person desires. To the point that they can't stop thinking about it. Night and day, they're obsessed with the thought of anything that's tangible, which is touchable, anything that they can physically feel whether it's lust of another person's body, whether it's lust for power, whether it's lust for wealth, Rather, it's less to control another person. Less is a strong urge, a strong desire. Of sinful indulgence. And we've all lusted. We've all lusted and have been obsessed or have been compulsive in wanting something that we felt would bring us such unimaginable pleasure. And when we get what we lust for, We indulge in it like an addict. Oh, lust feels so great because it gives us that false sense of a physical and mental high. And there we are. Flying high. On our false, pleasurable sense of sinful indulgence, lest we're caught up in that matrix, that matrix. of a lustful, sinful high. And we indulge, and we indulge, and we indulge. Until we get our bellies full. And then once we get our belly full, and our eyes become open, And we see the truth. That what we lusted for, what we desired, what we thought about day and night, what made us so happy is now making us so miserable. That lust 
made us feel like we were angels with angel wings. We could fly. And then when our eyes become open, we finally see that we gave ourselves over to our enemy, which is the devil. And now we're crying out, oh God, deliver me from evil. Deliver me from this devil that seeks to destroy me. Oh, and that devil gloats. That devil gloats because that devil feels like it has you in the palm of his hand. Why? Because you gave yourself over to lust and you indulged in it day and night. So now, this devil feels like it's one. And that's funny because when you cry out for help, The universe is there, your protection. And a lot of times, the universe makes your enemies feel like they have you when they really don't. The beauty is that the universe has power. And a lot of times, the matrix that you allowed your enemy to put you in Now the universe puts your enemy in a whole nother matrix. So when your enemy feels like it has you because you gave yourself over willingly and deliberately and you cry out from your soul. Help me. I allowed my lust to ensnare me. You're spared. You're spared. You're pulled out just in a nick of time. So many of us have been spared so many times in life from so many things. Some of us know what we've been spared from and some of us have no idea. Why do some of us have no idea? Because We choose to stay asleep. And sometimes we can't see how much we were saved and spared from things in our lives because we followed our own lust, because we have eyes to see, but we see not. And we have ears to hear, but we hear not. We have physical eyes to see, but spiritually, we can't see anything because we're blind as a bat. Or we have physical ears to hear, but spiritually, we can't hear anything because we're deaf. But for those who have followed their own lust, and once they got their lust, Fulfilled and they indulged in it and they got their belly full and their eyes came open to the deception of the matrix. And they cried out, help me, deliver me from evil. And they were delivered. Those that had their spiritual eyes open, they learned. And they never let lust 
ensnare or entrap them again. But lust is a powerful thing. It's so powerful. Why? Because once you get what you desire, you lust for, it feels so good, doesn't it? You feel like an addict that can't get enough. Of whatever it is that you were lusting for. And it doesn't have to be a person. And yet and still it can be a person. That you have physically lusted for. But lust come in many forms. Like I said. Lust of the flesh. Lust of money, power. Less to control, less to possess something. Lust comes in many forms. Don't let lust, lust ensnare you people. Don't let lust of the matrix ensnare you people do you hear what i'm saying can you hear me for those who have spiritual ears to hear can you hear me don't let the lust of this world ensnare you Because we are only given so many chances to get it right. A lot of times we go through many tests in life. And one of our tests are lust, being tested with lust. And a lot of times until we pass our test, the universe allows us to keep going through that same test over and over until we pass it. Some of us learn and some of us never learn. Some of us love our lust. And we bathe in it like a pig in a pig pen. And we never get enough. The more we get, the more we want. And the greedier we get. And the fatter we get. Until we play around in that lust of a matrix. In that deception. Until the end, we're consumed by the very thing we lusted. By the very thing we desired. By the very thing. Thing that we got greedy and we indulged in day and night, we are consumed by it. I must tell it like it is. I told it like it is. You all have a good one, people. I'm out.